short while ago I made a video about the Fujifilm X100V, about how it's become my everyday carry. I take it with me everywhere I go. It's also my backup camera on commercial shoots and wedding shoots. After shooting with this camera for six months, I want to share with you what I think is still working well, what I don't love so much, and some new accessories that I think could really help you enjoy it more. I will begin with the accessory that I use the least, which is ironic because I thought for sure it would be one I use the most. It's the extended handle bracket. Basically, this is designed to fit at the bottom of your camera and give you a better grip, especially if you're used to larger camera bodies. Uh, because this camera form factor is so slender, and so slim. The reason I don't use it is because the added weight and bulk makes this camera uh, just a bit too big to fit in my jacket pocket. The benefit of this attachment is that it also doubles as a base plate for tripods that use Swiss Arca, which I don't have, so I don't use. I also would probably never use this camera on a tripod unless I'm shooting like Northern Lights or long exposures, things like that. Again, I typically use this camera as an everyday carry, so having this little bit not really worth my time. Speaking of the grip, the thumb rest and extended shutter button, I guess I'd call it. Uh, these have been a great accessory uh, combination just for having that added extra grip, being able to put my thumb right in that spot and also use my finger as kind of a, a stabilizing accessory. I've really enjoyed the combination of these two. I think if you're going to be using this camera and you have larger hands like I do, just having these minus this you'll be great, you'll be happy. It just adds that little bit of stabilization that gives me comfort knowing I won't drop this camera when I'm out shooting with it. One thing to note is that the thumb rest does get in the way of the shutter dial and the ISO dial, but I have those two mapped to the, uh, the back and front wheels, so it's not really a problem for me. I just keep it on T, keep it on C, and then I use the function that way. So it doesn't really get in the way for me, but if you are someone who likes to mess with this wheel, and pull this up and mess with that wheel. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe it's not for you, but for me, it works really well. The lens hood on this camera has been a welcome addition. It not only helps to weather seal the body and the lens, but because I'm a firm believer that lens caps get in the way of shooting, it is the added protection I need when this camera is freewheeling in my camera bag. The finish on the hood matches the color and design of the camera really nicely, which I love, and improves my enjoyment and the overall look and feel of the camera. So 10 out of 10. Great lens hood choice. There's a ton of them out there. I think if you're gonna pick this camera up or you have it already, uh, investing in a dope lens hood that you know kind of looks good on your camera is a great way to make you feel good about shooting with this camera. Lens hood, get it, get you one. Because I shoot mostly in boost mode on this camera, which improves the autofocus and LCD brightness and quality of display, uh, because of this, my battery drains pretty quickly. I get about one to two hours of continuous shooting on a single charge, so investing in a second battery was kind of a no-brainer for me. Whether I'm out traveling or working a job, having this backup battery fully charged in my bag or in my pocket uh, just gives me real peace of mind. That being said, I'm sort of neurotic, and every time I'm in the car, I will plug in to the USB-C port just to charge the battery that's already in here, um, just to make sure I always have a charged battery. But uh, yeah, having a backup is a really good way just to uh, not worry about it and not think about things. So get a legit one. There's a lot of third-party ones out there. Get the one that works well. Get the good battery. The camera strap I use for this camera is uh, by Peak Design. I think it's called the Leash by Peak Design. I'll look that up after the fact. Um, I think it's great. I like that it's extendable. Uh, it works with every other camera I have because I use the Peak Design system for everything, basically from bags to camera straps. So uh, being able to extend this to be super long so it kind of fits in my jacket pocket over my shoulder or keep it really tight so it fits around my neck really snug and close uh, has been a treat. I know there's a lot of proprietary and smaller camera straps out there that you might enjoy more. I think that this one from a utility standpoint uh, serves me best. Also, on top of that, uh, this is an AirTag with a dog leash holder for an AirTag. I know that because Jose currently has the one that glows in the dark of the two pack that we purchased. Being able to use an air tag to find all the important things in my life like Jose, my keys, and know where this camera is in case I leave it in my car or it's left in the studio on King or at home, uh, just really helps me feel good about you know knowing where my stuff is because as I get older I get more things and I need to keep track of them and my brain is not great at that so technology Thank you so much for the win. AirTags, not new technology, but very welcome technology when it comes to keeping track of the stuff I like. And this is one of the things I like. The Fujifilm camera app is very hit or miss when it comes to transferring images from the camera to my iPhone. I've tried many things. I've tried many things. I've tried everything, but just nothing works. 
Everything is up to date in terms of firmware and settings, but I just cannot get the images from this to this, so I bought this. It's a lightning SD card reader that connects directly to my iPhone, allowing me to read and download JPEGs and RAW images through the Files app already in and on my iPhone. And for the most part, I find myself just downloading the JPEGs to this phone from this camera because the phone recipe I'm playing with is mwah, is bueno. Uh, I put it up here, you can, you can screenshot if you want to play with it. So thank you for watching and listening. If you're new here, thank you so much for the subscribe and for liking this video. This is my dog, Jose, and uh, yeah, have a great week. We'll see you next time.